Hey everyone, and welcome to Food History. In today's video, we're going to look at the life of culinary icon, Julia Child. You should have seen the way those men looked at me. But then they discovered I was- Okay, that's Meryl Streep as Julia Child. Okay, this is, this is Julia Child. Yes, you must stop the game. Well. Okay, no, that's Dan Aykroyd's impression of Julia Child on SNL. Um, this, this is definitely Julia Child. We're having a champagne and coffee party today. Ah, there we go. Okay, Julia Child was more than just a chef. She was also a renowned author, television personality, and butter advocate. Her passion for French cooking and her unique ability to simplify and teach complicated techniques made her a beloved figure in the culinary world, revolutionizing home cooking in America and inspiring generations of food enthusiasts. Have you ever enjoyed a bowl of French onion soup? Or do you know what kind of sauce that goes on eggs benedict? And can you read and pronounce the words creme brulee? Yeah, 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 I know, that's what I said. Now, if you said yes to any of those three things, you've got Julia Child to thank. In this video, we'll take you through the key moments of Julia Child's incredible journey from her early life to her rise as a culinary legend, touching on her most significant accomplishments and exploring the lasting impact she has had on the food world. There's a lot to cover in the story of America's French cuisine pioneer, so let's get this party started. Oh, and grab a piece of cake if you got one, because in the words of Julia Child, a party without a cake is just a meeting. Born on August 15th, 1912, Julia Child grew up in a privileged household in Pasadena, California. After earning a history degree from Smith College, she struggled to find work in her field and held various jobs, including copywriting, for prestigious home furnishings company. During World War II, Julia joined the Office of Strategic Services, also known as the OSS, where she met her future husband, Paul Child. They moved to Paris in 1948, following Paul's assignment to the US Embassy. Julia's introduction to French cuisine in Paris ignited her passion for cooking, leading her to study at Le Cordon Bleu under chef Max Bugnard. Embracing French food culture, Julia dedicated herself to mastering French culinary skills. She co-founded a cooking school, L'Ecole des Trois Gourmands, with Simone Beck and Luzette Berthold in 1951 to make French cooking more accessible to American home cooks. And I apologize to you French speakers out there, I can't pronounce anything. Now this experience shaped her cooking philosophy and influenced her mission to popularize French cuisine in the United States. Alongside her cooking school, Julia and her friends spent nearly a decade developing a cookbook aimed at demystifying French cooking for American home cooks. Despite facing numerous challenges, their commitment resulted in a comprehensive guide that greatly influenced American culinary practices. Finally, in 1961, their perseverance paid off when Mastering the Art of French Cooking was published by Alfred A. Knopf. The book was an instant success, receiving rave reviews from critics and readers alike. It's clear, step-by-step -step instructions and focus on using fresh, high-quality ingredients resonated with American home cooks, who eagerly embraced the opportunity to bring French cuisine into their own kitchens. Mastering the Art of French Cooking not only transformed the way Americans approach cooking, but also established Julia Child as a culinary icon, setting the stage for her groundbreaking television career and her enduring influence on the culinary world. Julia's approachable demeanor and enthusiasm for French cuisine helped make French cooking less intimidating and more accessible to a wider audience. As a result, she became a beloved culinary ambassador, inspiring a new generation of home cooks to explore and appreciate the rich traditions and flavors of French cuisine. Julia Child's rise to fame began with a guest spot on a local TV show where her engaging manner resonated with viewers, leading to her own program, The French Chef, in 1963. Her relatable teaching style, including acknowledging mistakes on camera and the innovative use of close-ups and step-by-step -step demos, made her show so popular. Running for a decade, it earned many awards and set the standard for future culinary shows. Following the success of The French Chef, Child participated in several other shows and made frequent talk show appearances where her quick wit and improvisational skills shined. Her dedication to educating home cooks solidified her legacy as a culinary pioneer. Child's success stemmed from her love for food, especially French cuisine. She stressed the use of fresh, high-quality ingredients and advocated for understanding and respecting them in preparation. Her approach to cooking was traditional yet accessible, breaking down French culinary techniques into manageable steps for American home cooks. Adding personal touches to her recipes, Child encouraged creativity in the kitchen and often shared her famous quote, Always remember, if you're alone in the kitchen and you drop the lamb, 
you can always just pick it up. Who's going to know? Known for endorsing the use of a blowtorch in cooking, she remains an iconic figure in culinary television. Some of Julia Child's most iconic dishes showcase her dedication to French cooking and her ability to make it approachable for home cooks. These dishes include buff bourguignon. Julia Child popularized this rich French beef stew, emphasizing the importance of browning, braising, and using high quality red wine. Cocavin, 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 cocavin. Child's version of this French chicken dish cooked with red wine and bacon stressed the preparation of each ingredient and the use of a whole chicken. Bouillabaisse. In her take on this traditional Marseille fish stew, Child highlighted the importance of using a variety of seafood in a flavorful, aromatic broth. Tartatine. Child's recipe for this caramelized apple dessert underlined the significance of preparing the caramel and arranging the apples for a visually stunning and delicious result. French fries. Started out, the French fries were very good. And then the nutritionists got at them that it which turned out to be erroneous that beef tallow fat was bad and that lard was bad and so forth. And so they changed it to some kind of a nutritionist oil and they've been kind of limp ever since. I, I never really eat them. Okay, she didn't actually introduce America to French fries, but she did go on the record to say that she loved McDonald's French fries before the pesky nutritionist made them change the recipe to make the fries healthier. Julia Child managed to make the world of French cuisine feel less pretentious and intimidating to American audiences. She celebrated the cuisine and invited average American chefs to do the same. Julia Child's personal life was defined by her loving marriage to Paul Child, who introduced her to fine cuisine and supported her culinary career. They were a devoted pair until Paul's death in 1994. Child was also known for her fondness for cats, often seen in her home and even on her TV shows. She made significant contributions to the culinary world beyond her own cooking. She co-founded the American Institute of Wine and Food and the James Beard Foundation to foster culinary education and appreciation. She also dedicated herself to mentoring aspiring chefs, offering her expertise generously. Julia Child also committed her time and resources to various causes bolstering her legacy as a culinary icon and a compassionate individual. Her impact extended beyond her personal achievements, inspiring countless others. Now, if you're inspired by Julia's passion for food and her incredible story, be sure to like this video and share it with your fellow food enthusiasts. Don't forget to subscribe to the Tastemade YouTube channel for more captivating stories, mouthwatering recipes, and fascinating insights into the world of food and cooking. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a delicious moment. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on Julia Child and her lasting culinary legacy. So leave a comment below and let us know who your favorite culinary icon is. Thank you so much for watching Food History and we'll see you in the next Tastemade adventure. Bon appétit.